What if I told you Starship's shiny ceramic heat shield is already outdated? Yeah, SpaceX has recently installed metal heat shield tiles on the Starship as part of an experiment. This technology is expected to be three times more durable than ceramic tiles, which is crucial for SpaceX to fully perfect the reusability of their beast. So, what exactly is this groundbreaking approach? Let's dive into today's episode of Alpha Tech. It seems Elon Musk is a man who's always focused on cost optimization, and maybe that's part of why he's so successful. From the very beginning of SpaceX, his goal was clear, to build reusable rockets and bring down launch costs as much as possible. Back then, space launches were expensive, and reusability was a bold idea. But for a rocket like Starship to be reused, it has to survive the intense heat and stress of re-entry and landing without major damage just like meteors. On average, about 12 space rocks weighing at least two pounds crash into Earth every day. But most of them burn up in the atmosphere long before they ever reach the ground, leaving behind nothing more than a quick bright streak in the night sky. But sometimes, a much larger one makes it through. A famous example is from 2013, when a meteor, about 60 feet wide and weighing around 11,000 tons, flew over Chelyabinsk, Russia. After all, they still break apart from the heat, losing much of their massive size on the way down. But the story would be very different if they were equipped with Starship's heat shields. Starship features one of the most advanced heat shield systems ever developed, built to protect the vehicle during its blazing return through Earth's atmosphere and make full reusability possible. Its underside is covered with about 18,500 ceramic tiles, many shaped in a standard hexagonal pattern. Each heat shield tile on Starship is built to survive. Rated for temperatures near 3,000 Fahrenheit, they are designed to handle not just the searing heat of re-entry, but also the violent shaking that comes with it. And they do it mission after mission. Unlike the ablative shields on Crew Dragon, which burn away to carry heat off, these tiles are made to be reused. They're mounted directly onto Starship's 304L stainless steel body, a smart move. While most spacecraft use aluminum or composite materials, stainless steel brings its own advantages. It can take up to 1,500 degrees Fahrenheit on its own, it's easier to repair, and it helps lower maintenance costs. Together, the steel and tiles form a tough, reliable shield, built for the brutal ride back to Earth. This technology takes inspiration from NASA's Space Shuttle, which also used a tiling approach to handle the extreme heat of re-entry. The shuttle featured black tiles made mostly from high-purity silica or quartz fibers derived from sand. Re-entry temperatures can reach glowing, white-hot levels, so the shielding materials must resist melting and have very low thermal conductivity. Some people wonder why the heat shield tiles aren't painted white to make the ship look better, but their black color isn't just for looks. It's the result of their chemical makeup and how they're made. According to the laws of thermal radiation, Black surfaces absorb and emit heat more efficiently than lighter colors. That's why Starship's tiles are black. During re-entry, they can reach extreme temperatures, and being black helps them radiate that heat away faster, reducing how much gets transferred into the ship. So, black isn't just cool, it's crucial. But building this kind of heat shield is no walk in the park. The tiles are made of ceramic, a material that's naturally brittle and tough to produce in large sheets. That's why, just like the space shuttle, Starship goes with smaller, individual tiles instead of one giant piece. Each one is carefully installed using high-temperature adhesives or mechanical fasteners to make sure it stays locked in place during the violent ride of launch and re-entry. However, this clever design also comes with a major flaw. Ceramics aren't built for stress. They can crack, chip, or shatter under heavy vibrations, especially after multiple missions. Elon Musk once joked that it's like a bunch of dinner plates glued to a rocket that's shaking like hell. Thermal cycling, the constant expansion and contraction from extreme temperature changes, can slowly wear the tiles down. After each mission, engineers have to inspect them one by one. Some may need replacing, which adds time and cost to refurbishment. That's exactly the kind of thing SpaceX wants to cut down, as they chase the holy grail of rapid full reuse. Even putting the tiles on isn't a walk in the park. Whether you're using glue or bolts, every single one has to be mounted with almost surgical precision. Because if just one tile comes loose or sits a little off, well, 
it could fly right off mid-flight, and that's the kind of failure you don't walk away from. So, SpaceX took a step back and tried a new angle, metallic TPS. A heat shield made of metal could fix many of the flaws in the ceramic tile system. To most people, using metal as a heat shield might sound a little strange. But for those who've been following Starship for years, it's not some wild new idea. It's more like picking up where things left off. Elon's been playing with the metal heat shield concept for a long time, just looking for the right way to make it work. In early 2019, Elon Musk shared a video showing a metallic heat shield being tested at temperatures up to 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. In the clip, flames blast directly onto the glowing red metal, simulating the extreme heat a spacecraft endures during re-entry. Even under that intense heat, the metal holds its shape, proof of the durability and promise behind this design. The metallic TPS design SpaceX is working on is made from stainless steel and it includes a pretty clever cooling trick. Tiny holes are built into the outer layer of the heat shield, and during re-entry, liquid, like water or methane, can slowly seep through them. This allows the shield to sweat, carrying away heat before it can build up too much. That way, the steel doesn't get hot enough to melt. As Elon Musk put it, basically, you just need a stainless steel sandwich. You run fuel or water between the layers then let it seep out through tiny holes to cool the windward side of the rocket. Now, this kind of cooling isn't a brand new idea. It's called film cooling, and rocket engineers have been using it for years, mainly inside rocket engines. The idea is to spray a thin layer of cool liquid between the super-hot exhaust gases and the engine walls. It acts like a thermal blanket, protecting the engine from burning up. What SpaceX is doing is taking that same proven technique and applying it to the outside of a spaceship. Unlike ceramic heat tiles, like the ones currently used on Starship, metal plates can handle mechanical stress and vibration much better. Ceramic tiles are fragile by nature. They can crack or break under the intense shaking that happens during launch or re-entry. That makes metal a more rugged, reliable option. But that's not all. Metal has better reusability potential, exactly the kind of long-term thinking Elon Musk is aiming for. Over many heat cycles, ceramics tend to expand, shrink, or even fracture. Metal, on the other hand, holds its shape and integrity much better under repeated stress. And with film cooling technology built right in, using methane or water to sweat heat away, these metal shields can keep their temperature in check and last longer. That cooling trick adds a layer of protection and helps extend the system's life. Metal shields also make things easier on the factory floor. They can be made in larger sections, unlike ceramics, which have to be shaped into thousands of tiny hex tiles. That means simpler manufacturing, fewer parts, and faster maintenance. And if something does go wrong, metal panels are generally easier to repair or replace. Another big win when you're aiming to fly the same rocket over and over again. Starship's 7th and 8th flights had some metal heat shield panels on board, but since both missions failed before re-entry, they never got tested. Now we'll have to wait for Flight 9 in May to see if the metal shield outperforms the ceramic tiles. But to get a better idea of what SpaceX is trying to do, we can actually look back at vehicles that used this approach before. In the 1990s, NASA and Lockheed Martin worked on a project called the X-33 Venture Star. It was an unmanned, scaled-down prototype meant to test technologies for a reusable, suborbital space plane. While the project itself never flew, it did test an early version of a metallic heat shield, something very similar to what SpaceX is working on today. The engineers on the X-33 came up with a smart design, a two-layer system where the outer shell was metal and underneath it was a layer of insulation. This setup lets them separate the job of handling heat from the job of holding structure. To make that outer metal layer strong but still lightweight, they use something called a honeycomb sandwich structure, Basically, it's like a metal waffle that adds strength without adding a lot of weight. Both the honeycomb layer and the outer shell were made from Inconel 617, a nickel-based superalloy that can handle brutal heat up to 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit during peak re-entry. That was over 30 years ago. Since then, materials and manufacturing have come a long way. In fact, in 2019, SpaceX ran its own test of a metal heat shield under direct flame at 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit, and it didn't melt, crack, or even lose shape. With results like that, SpaceX might finally be cracking the code on one of the toughest problems in rocket reusability, 
building a heat shield that can survive trip after trip without falling apart. However, before we get any real test results from Starship's metallic TPS, there are already a few things casting doubt on how practical this system really is. First off, a steel heat shield is a lot heavier than the ceramic tile Starship's using now. Just to give you an idea, those 18,500 ceramic tiles only weigh about 5 tons total. That's pretty light, but if SpaceX goes with a full metallic heat shield, the weight could go up by a factor of 10. That means less payload and more fuel to lift, which isn't cheap. Second, the built-in film cooling system adds another layer of complexity. It uses tiny channels to pump methane or water through the shield to keep it cool. It's a clever idea, but it demands super precise engineering to avoid leaks or clogs. And finally, there's the cost. Developing and scaling up a metallic TPS from testing to full production could be more expensive than sticking with the ceramic system that's already been standardized. Sure, it might work better, but it risks driving up costs, which kinda goes against Elon's whole vision of making space travel affordable. Maybe one day they'll crack the code with some lightweight, low-cost alloy that changes the game. Who knows what the future holds? So, do you think metal can really replace ceramic for the most intense part of spaceflight? Let us know your take below. That's all for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching, and see you next time.